Good morning. This is Robin Bremer, and you're watching Walks with God. Um, today I just want to share with you basically about my book. I'm really excited, and I want to encourage you to get it. Um, it's called Feed My People Joy, Kingdom Living for End Times. And it's all about how everything about God is about joy. God does not test us, tempt us, um, put sickness, disease, poverty, lack, and fear on us to humble us, to teach us, or to get glory. How everything, everything about God is about um, the kingdom principles, about um, goodness and peace and joy. And um, that's what I want to share with you today. You see, too many people get saved out of fear and obligation. And then they don't serve God. They don't fall in love with God. Um, they think they have a bunch of rules to follow. But um, that's religion. Religion always puts you in bondage. Religion always has a bunch of rules. But what Christianity is, is Christianity is a relationship with Jesus Christ. And when you have a relationship, you have encounters. Uh, you come, uh, Jesus comes, or Holy Spirit God comes and visits you, has a relationship with you, talks to you, you hear His voice. It's a two-way street. You go and you visit God. <clears throat> he said that He would come and sup with you. Um, it's, a, it's a relationship, just like you and a spouse. Uh, you eat together, you talk together, you share together, because you're in a relationship. And religion teaches you that you won't hear God's voice, you don't know what His will is, He can do anything. And that's, that's not true. So, um, here are some of the um, chapters in my book. The kingdom of God is joy, the blood covenant, and the kingdom. The kingdom of God is the kingdom of love, the kingdom of power, and the Holy Spirit. Two kingdoms on earth, words rule in the kingdom. The kingdom of God is righteousness. Kingdom praying, praying God's will. Uh, kingdom armor. Kingdom peace, king in the kingdom. Witnessing the kingdom way, signs, wonders, and miracles. Yesterday, yesterday, today, and forever. That is a really good chapter. I share some of my experiences, which is pretty funny, some of them. Healing is always the kingdom way. Kingdom authority to raise the dead. That one will cause some controversy. I'm so excited about that. The gospel of the kingdom of the poor. That one will cause, cause controversy too. Power scriptures to build your faith. The kingdom and end times. Awakening and revival about the author. That's me and end notes. Uh, you have feed, uh, you have um, uh, the kingdom principles of joy. That And that is basically, that is a wonderful, wonderful chapter which could go on a long time. But... Uh, that's basically about how uh, God wants you to live like heaven on earth with joy, peace, and righteousness. And uh, it talks about how joy replaces sorrow, how, how people mourning, and that's not just over death, that's mourning over anything, fear and everything going on in the world. How joy replaces that, how joy and laughter is strength. And then you have a chapter on the covenant, understanding the covenant, what that means. There's a chapter on righteousness because the kingdom of God is righteousness peace and joy in the Holy Spirit chapter on the Holy Spirit which is an excellent excellent chapter uh, on what the Holy Spirit's job is why you need the Holy Spirit uh, the power of the Holy Spirit in end times then you have chapter on peace chapter on prosperity <clears throat> which is the first um, the, which the chapter on prosperity prosperity is the first thing that Jesus talked about if you read the book, uh, he says he's anointed to preach the good news to the poor, that they don't have to be poor anymore. Also, he says, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom. In other words, when you have the kingdom, you're not poor anymore. And there's no poverty and lack in heaven. And he wants us to live on heaven, on earth like we will in heaven. Um, some of the other chapters are, uh, uh, my favorite one, one of my favorite one is the king and the kingdom. How God, how Jesus came and demonstrated how a king was to run and rule and reign in the earth. <coughs> Excuse me. And it talks about how you are a king and how you de declare justice and the judgment of the devil. Very exciting chapter. That's one of my favorite. Um, how to heal the sick. Different um, wrong thinking on that. How to raise the dead. And I've had opportunities uh, seven or eight times now. And uh, I haven't raised the dead yet, but I'm continuing to try. Um, built my faith up to do it. To under have understanding in it. And I will. Um, and just because my experience doesn't line up with the Word doesn't mean that God doesn't want us to raise the dead because that whole chapter is about building your faith to raise the dead. And same thing with healing the sick. If you don't go out and find the sick and lay hands on them 
until someone consistently gets healed, then you're never going to get anyone healed. You need to continue to do it to work at it. <clears throat> ah, then we have, uh, let's see, chapters on love, which God is love. We have chapters, a chapter on um, the end time revival, what's to be expected. And there's 18 chapters in all, and they're excellent chapters. And the book is called Feet My People Joy, Kingdom Living for End Times. It should be available right now at Amazon.com. It will be available in the next couple days at Zulon. At Zulon, X-U-L-O-N dot com. And it should be available soon there. Under Robin Bremer, Ribbons the Clown. It has a picture of me as Ribbons the Clown on the front there. And, and uh, the way this book got started was I was tired of going to church and seeing nothing happen. I knew that our God was bigger than that. There was no power in my church. It was just dead. Just do this, do that, do this, do that. And, and I just felt that that, that that wasn't like God. So I kept uh, going to my prayer closet, praying in the Spirit. Oh, there's this, yeah, there's in the Holy Spirit. And the chapter is talking about tongues and how tongues is a weapon and how important that is. And I hope that helps you get over religious thinking that it's not for today or it's of the devil because it's not. It's one of the biggest deceptions the devil has put on man is tongues is a very, very powerful weapon. Anyway, <clears throat> um, got in my prayer closet and spent hours in prayer time um, and finally had some experiences that changed my life. But you have to read the book to, to find that out. But anyway, um, it's an excellent book, Anointed of God. Mark Hankins, who has a ministry on the radio here in uh, Oklahoma has endorsed it. And so has Angela Stevens, a worldwide ministry, and Phyllis Hill, an awesome woman of God who who uh, walks in the joy of the Lord. And uh, some of my fellow um, ministers at my church, Lighthouse, Lighthouse Christian Center in Oklahoma, uh, you follow. So I encourage you to buy the book, pray with me and agree with me, my friends, that it's a bestseller. It changes people's lives. It takes them from religion to relationship and walking. And, and my goal is to help them walk in the supernatural things of God and bring about this end time revival so we can get the harvest in and so we can go be with Jesus. Um, my name is Robin Bremer and you're watching Walks with God. My email is me at Ribbons the Clown. If you want to get my monthly newsletter, me at Ribbons, R I B B O N S, the Clown.com. So, the book's name is Feed My People Joy. You can get it, you should be able to get it in uh, a lot of the, in all the bookstores. So, there is how it looks. You were created to live supernaturally in your everyday life. You are the answer to the world's problems. Um, you have the power in you to change the world. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> this Power Pack book is, is for people who are hungry for God and want to go deeper in the supernatural things of God. If you want everything the blood of Jesus paid for you to have, then this book is for you. It will show you how to witness with joy by de demonstrating and enforcing the victory Jesus paid, blood paid for you to have, how to operate in the kingdom of God and understand the ministry of the Holy Spirit in end times, how to demonstrate, how to demonstrate, as Patrick, how to walk with confidence and demonstrate God's supernatural power and love and presence on the street, work, anytime and anywhere, how to hear the, His voice and be led with confidence by the Holy Spirit, how to understand the principles of the kingdom that bring you success no matter what the circumstances. How to enforce the judgment of the devil and build your faith to rise the dead. This book will either make you mad. This book will either make you mad or will make you on fire to do the supernatural. Then, it talk, then it's a picture of me and about me and my websites and um, how to get in touch with me. <clears throat> so, that's my book. I hope you buy it. It's uh, 330 pages long and it's uh, 18 99 watching walks with God and remember I am praying for you and believing God and speaking blessings over you